Hi, Jane Swiffin here for Plugin Everything, and today we're gonna to do a quick overview of Keymix and the general use. First thing I wanna mention is that Keymix works all the way back to CS6. However, CC 2018 introduced this new feature where instead of just checking out a layer, you can also check it out with its masks or its effects and masks. And that allows you to not have to pre-comp things as much, which is super useful for Keymix. So I definitely recommend using it with CC 2018. So I've got a key here and it's got a hole in it and I want to fill that. Uh, if I were to do so, it would kind of ruin the fidelity of my hair. So I've got another layer that has the right settings to fill in the mat and I just want to mix that selectively. So that's what key mix is for. Let's draw a mask over where we want to and let's set that to none because otherwise it's going to affect the output image. Come down to the mask, choose mask one and come to the layer to mix and choose fill key. And as you notice, that's going to reference the original source footage. So we'll just set that to effects and masks. And there we have it. That's now filling in that key there. Now, if we want to add some feather to that, you have to add the feather here. It will not work if you add the feather down here, that will do nothing. So adding feather here, will mix that feathered. Also, if you want to use per vertex feathering, you can do that and that will be honored. However, the recommended way to mix keys is with a separate layer and this has many advantages. One is the performance is much faster. Two, you can apply things like tracking data and effects to this. And three, you can use the mask layer mode. So let's just redraw that on a separate layer. And let's say, well, that's where I want the fill to happen, but then I want to subtract from here. So let's just solo that, set that to subtract, and then we want feathering on both. So we just add a Gaussian blur, set that to 50 pixels, and we want to mix the keys based on this. So what we do is come down to key mix, down to layer mat. We want to enable that. We want to choose this white solid and effects and masks. You'll notice though, if we move this layer around, that's not updating. And that's because continuous rasterization must be turned on. So now if we do it, you can see that's now working. And the order of precedence in Keymix is that if layer mat is enabled, then the mask will be disabled. So even though we have a mask here and we're using it, it's disregarding that it's just using the layer mat there. And the great thing about key mix is you can mix as many keys as you want in a single layer by just stacking these on top of each other until After Effects crashes. Also, if you're rocking the free version, just note that if your output buffer is larger than 1280 by 720, which ours is here, if you were to run the trial version, it would work and it would be unwatermarked. It's just that it's going to fill anything larger than 1280 by 720 with a large red solid. So you can work unwatermarked in a 1280 by 720p buffer, but if you want to work larger than that, like we are here, you'll have to buy it, sorry. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out plugineverything.com where we have some free plugins, some more paid plugins, and we'll be releasing more stuff soon.